Hi, my name is Olga Zoltarova. I'm a postdoc at the Technical University of Munich and an associate junior group leader at the University of Hamburg at COSI Bio Group. Today, I will talk about FLIPA, a federated privacy aware tool for differential gene expression analysis of RNA seq data. Differential gene expression analysis compares the expression profiles of samples in two or more groups to reveal genes whose expressions significantly differ. It's a key step in many biomedical studies because differential expressed genes may point to pathways and processes which are up or down regulated under certain conditions. One major challenge of differential expression analysis is the lack of robustness due to high technical and biological variability. To overcome this issue, the simplest way would be increasing sample size. When it comes to the analysis of patient-derived expression profiles, privacy of the data is a concern. Recent studies have shown that patient gene types can be inferred from expression profiles using publicly available EQTL data. This means that expression data obtained by independent organizations uh, cannot be easily shared. In general, there are three ways to increase sample size of which the most straightforward is just pulling expression uh, data sets together prior to differential expression analysis. However, as I said, it may not be possible due to data security issues. The privacy aware alternative would be meta analysis. Here, differential expression analysis is performed uh, locally at each participating site, then, locally computed tables uh, with p values and effect size are exchanged and aggregated to global results. However, meta analysis is error prone when class labels or confounders are inhomogeneously distributed between cohorts. The necessity to protect personal data motivated us to develop a federated tool for differential expression analysis. It implements a well-known uh, lima boom workflow and therefore is called FLIMA. In federated learning, personal data never leaves uh, local sites and only intermediate results or parameters are exchanged with the server. The parameters are chosen such that personal data cannot be recovered from them. The federated workflow is designed in a way that the results are identical to those generated in centralized analysis on combined data sets. The current implementation of FLIMA is based on HiFed, a hybrid framework for federated learning with a secure multi-party computation-like component. It consists of three types of communicating parties. Client apps, which run locally at each participant site, uh, join the project and access data. Personal data is never disclosed to the server. Instead, each client computes local parameters and uh, generates a noise matrix with random values of the same size as the matrix with local parameters. Then it uh, sums parameters and noise matrices and uh, send noisy parameters to the aggregator. The aggregator collects noisy parameters from all clients and uh, summarizes them to global noisy parameters. Noise, in turn, is uh, sent to uh, the compensator, which computes global noise, uh, and shares it with the aggregator, which uh, finally denoises global parameters and returns them to clients. In this way, local parameters are always protected by noise. This hybrid approach gives a good privacy guarantee when the aggregator and the compensator are located at two different sites. FLIMA implements lima boom workflow, in which four steps involve federated computations, filtering of weakly expressed genes, upper quartile normalization, removal of mean variance trend, feeding of weighted linear regression models, and the last step uh, involves no computations on personal data and therefore is performed locally at the aggregator. The results of FLIMA are mathematically equivalent to the results of centralized analysis by, by the original LIMA room. To prove this, we applied FLIMA to two real-world datasets, breast cancer cohort from TCGA, where we compared samples uh, from luminal subtype with samples of basal like subtype and GTEX skin datasets, where we compared samples of sun exposed skin versus not sun exposed. Each dataset was split in three parts to simulate independent cohorts. Splits were repeated three times, such that the distribution of class labels and confounders were balanced between cohorts, mildly imbalanced, and strongly imbalanced. We applied FLIMA and four meta analysis approaches to these artificial splits and compared the resulting p values with p values obtained in centralized analysis by LIMA room. Here we see that in the case of imbalanced data, and especially in the case of strong imbalance, meta-analysis uh, results diverge from the results of centralized analysis. In contrast, FLIMA always produces the same results, so here we can see black, uh, black dots corresponding uh, FLIMA results. They are always aligned along the diagonal. 
to demonstrate that Flimba can effectively handle batch effects, uh, we applied it to three independently generated breast cancer datasets from GEO. Here we can see that center-specific differences are much, much stronger than uh, the effects of subtypes. And here we are going to compare, again, uh, luminal subtype versus bezel. Flima models uh, the effect of uh, the cohort just as a binary covariate. And despite such a strong batch effect in the data, Flima managed to uh, return uh, nearly the same fold changes and p values as Lima Wound run on the same data centrally after patch effect correction by Combat Seek. In conclusion, Flima is the first privacy aware differential gene expression analysis workflow. It demonstrates the same results as centralized analysis by Lima Wu, even in imbalanced scenarios and meta analysis approaches fail. It is robust to batch effects, and now Flima is implemented as a user friendly web tool, which is publicly available online. Uh, and you're very welcome to try Flima. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>